the WLHS studios in Lodi, Wisconsin. This is Impact News. With the WLHS News team, anchor person, Harley Sari, and reporters Justina Jones and Nicole Kelcher. Hitting you with the truth, this is Impact News. And now, here's your anchor, Carly Sari. Hello and welcome to WLHS Studios on Channel 12. I'm Carly Sari here for Impact News, where we are hitting you with the truth. The stories that I will be covering today are playing hooky and how big of a problem it is here at Lodi High School, and new local bands in the area. Also reporting today is Nicole Kalsher and Justina Jones. Nicole will be reporting on drugs and alcohol and how it's affecting our school and how attendance requirements are changing for the students that want to graduate early next year. Justina will be reporting on our cell phones and how they are affecting not only the students, but the staff, and the inconsistency of allowing foods and drinks in the classrooms. Now we will be turning it over to Nicole for our lead story. Thank you, Carly. You would think because of this is school, things like drugs and tobacco would not be a problem. But lately it seems to be coming up more and more in conversations and seems to be the main cause of many issues in our school. Chew, cigarettes, and drugs have always been a problem in the schools, but in the past few years have worsened. Lodi High School Principal Miss Love says, this past year I've seen a lot more chewing going on than anything. She says marijuana has always been an issue, but prescription drugs have become the leading drug issue going on in our school. Ms. Love is worried about the students getting hooked and the drugs having a high impact on their learning. Two weeks ago, the high school had a guest speaker, Mike McGowan, come and talk to the students more about drugs and alcohol use. The school felt that it would be a good time for him to come and speak to the students because of prom being only a few weeks away. Many of the students I spoke to thought it was pointless. They thought he was funny, but they said everything he talked about was a joke, which made many of them not take it seriously. Ms. Love felt he did connect with the students but doesn't believe it will make a change and the school will keep giving to the students and try and make an impact. She also says if the problem increases, they will try to get the community more involved because the community isn't doing enough. She believes they will, should all work together to make an impact. Ms. Love and Ms. Amanon both believe lunch is a factor dealing with drugs and tobacco. They both agree kids come in from lunch smelling like tobacco and they can tell by their eyes whether someone is using drugs. Ms. Amanon says this is the reason the community does not want off-campus lunches. Ms. Amanon believes tobacco and drugs in school during and in, during school is a big issue. Her main concern is drugs destroying dreams for the students and affecting them in such a way it screws up their life. She believes that if the guest speaker affected at least one person, then it was successful. She believes the students should also be addressed about not using drugs and tobacco. She believes lunch gives the students opportunity to use drugs and tobacco, which is also a concern. I asked Ms. Amanon if she believed teachers know of students using drugs and tobacco but don't report it, and she feels she has no right accusing the teachers. She said an issue like this is a hard to address. And now time to switch over to a different point of view. I interviewed a student on this topic to get an idea of how the students feel as well. The student stated, since I've been going to this school, I've seen things like drugs and tobacco use only increase. I've seen classmates come to school drunk, high, and smelling like cigarettes, and throughout the year it's only gotten worse. But I don't believe the school can really change this, though. I think it's something the students need to do by themselves. Things aren't going to change unless they want them to. I think we should have more guest speakers about the effects of drugs, tobacco, and alcohol. I think true stories and speakers that have experienced things due to these kinds of things would be more effective and eye-opening than anything. As you can see, this is the biggest issue in our school, and there are many different views <coughs> and opinions. Mine is that something should be done, but it needs to be effective and not just the same thing that's always done. The teachers and community actually need to reach out to the students and do something about it. Students need to be aware of some of the risks of using drugs or tobacco. Guest speakers do help, but only when they have been through these issues dealing with drugs and tobacco themselves. I guess a guest speaker that just talks about the risks but hasn't actually dealt with this is not as, as effective. Stories about people losing loved ones because of drugs or tobacco or struggling with drugs and tobacco their entire life. This is a problem that will always be addressed in our school. And the staff plans to keep addressing it until there's a change being made. And now on to Carly with skipping classes. Thank you, Nicole. That was very insightful.